Hey guys, I'm Lindell with GamersNexus.net and I'm here with Steve, our Editor-in-Chief, to bring you this week's hardware news. So for the first item off the top here, Intel has their new Broadwell E lineup that was leaked. This is all alleged leaks. It's on the website. We've got the specs table. I should know that this isn't official from Intel, so things could change, but I'm fairly confident that it is all accurate. The biggest item here is there are four SKUs for the new Broadwell E lineup. Normally they do three SKUs. And that will be shipping on LGA 2011-V3s. So it's got a new socket, the version 3 of the socket. And the big processor is the 6950X, which has 10 cores and 20 threads, because it's hyper-threaded. Okay. Lindell, how, do you know how many, core, how many cores does your system have right now? Eight. Eight. <laughs> so we got 10 and 20 threads on this thing. <laughs> That's coming out on the 6950X. Yeah. The 6900K is 8 and 16. And you can check the specs table for the rest of that. And that pretty much covers the Intel stuff we know right now, but we'll stay on top of it as more news emerges. EVGA just announced its $400 GTX 970 hybrid, which uses Asetex liquid cooling to keep GPU temperatures down, and also has a blower fan for VRM cooling. And this comes after the 980 Ti hybrid, which is a card that we pretty strongly recommended for its impressively cool performance. And I've got the 970 hybrid on the bench already. It is being tested. We don't have yeah. final thermal data in yet, but I'm seeing about a 20 Celsius delta T over ambient when it's under load. So that means that if we add back in ambient, which here is 71 F or 20-ish, 21, 22 Celsius, that puts it at somewhere in the 40 range for under load performance. And that is very impressive for a GPU under load. Yes. And that comes at the 1140 megahertz base clock. It is pre-overclocked to 1140 megahertz over the reference 970 design. And it boosts to 1279 megahertz, 400 bucks, and will be reviewed on the site and channel shortly. One of the big stories this week for us was an exclusive where we had information from Asetech about a CND or cease and desist ordered against AMD for the R9 Fury X and against Gigabyte for their 980 liquid-cooled water force video cards. So that's been out there for a little while now. We received a statement from AMD who more or less said something to the effect of, not our problem, go talk to Cooler Master. Because Cooler Master is the group that was originally, they originally received an injunction, had an injunction imposed against them by the judge for Asetex lawsuit. Cooler Master was convicted of 20-something counts of patent infringement against the Asetek liquid cooling setup, and now Asetek's going after AMD for the R9 Fury X, which is sort of a, a proxy for Cooler Master. Cooler Master reached out to us with a statement as well, and I am pushing back for a bit more clarity on that statement because it, it didn't make a whole lot of sense, but we're giving them some room to breathe because they, they're based in Taiwan. So yeah. gonna give a bit of time on that to get some clarification on what Cooler Master is trying to say with their Asetek AMD CM lawsuit mm -hmm. statement. And that pretty much wraps most of the AMD Asetek stuff we have right now. We'll cover it more through the next week, though. Yeah. Well, they certainly didn't need that. But AMD has had some news this week that did not involve receiving a cease and desist. Uh, they've announced that FreeSync will now work over HDMI, which will be interesting for some living room gaming setups. Up until now, FreeSync was only working over DisplayPort. And in the first quarter of 2016, we'll see some compatible displays coming out from LG, Acer, and Samsung. Corsair snuck in a new case launch before the end of the year with the 600C, which you might have already seen the review on the website. But if not, the 600C and the 600Q are interesting because the motherboard layout is actually inverted, which means it's flipped and rotated. So when you install the motherboard, it will be upside down and on the right side. Right, it'll be on the wrong side of the case, yeah. as it were, normally on the left side. Yeah. The 600C is a highly performant case. We saw it actually has the best GPU cooling performance that we've ever seen in a case that we've tested. It's got pretty good CPU cooling performance. It was only outperformed by the B2 Spirit, which is massive compared to the 600C. So a bit different market there. But the 600C, 600Q are both good for GPU cooling, and that is because of their inverted motherboard layout. You can see the review on the channel already or on the website, gamersnexus.net. And as always, if you like this kind of content, hit that Patreon link in the post roll video and help us out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.